architectures that were common 10, five years ago aren't really the architectures we need today to deal with today's rapidly evolving threats. And the fact that threats are highly automated, they're highly distributed, and changing at a rate which is astounding means that we need to build very strong and resilient infrastructure. And so one of the things we focus on is how are we building an architecture that's a solid foundation that allows us to create the kind of resiliency and ultimately security that we actually need. The perimeter is no longer like that hard outside shell that we all kind of want. Outside actors have been very successful penetrating those perimeters. And when they're in our environments, we may not know they're there. How long has a threat been in our environment before we actually figured it out and did something about it? One of the reasons I actually came to VMware was because of the whole concept of micro-segmentation and the ability to take monolithic architectures and then break them out into the context of the application or, or the network traffic and abstracting all that hardware into software. We can do a lot of magic with those infrastructures that we couldn't do before. We need to make sure that we enable our developers and the engineers who build and run those environments to actually deploy things that we need to create the appropriate level of security in those environments. I believe one of the keys to that is to ensure that you've enabled self-service and automation to allow for you to accommodate that scale and to accommodate the pace of development that will happen in those environments. When we are designing new architectures for the environment or we have a new application coming on board, so for example, we just did a very large SAP implementation of VMware. This application was deployed on a, on a fully micro-segmented environment, which I think is one of the first times it's ever been done. And we did that because we wanted, to, we wanted to break up critical parts of that infrastructure to significantly reduce the threat and the, and the ability of an actor to get from one place to the other place. I think it's really important for people to find those places where new infrastructure or new ideas or new software, new applications are being built and ensure that you can enable those folks to understand the value of what you're doing and actually make it simple for them to understand how they should be doing it as well by providing reference architectures and guidelines in addition to the standards that they need to follow.